Hello and welcome back and that's right just as the title card suggests the Sabrent PS5 heatsink is coming exceptionally soon. Pre-orders have been made available worldwide and although I talked about this already less than a week ago on my news segment where I was talking about how the heatsink had first been introduced on their YouTube channel a few more things have come out about it so I wanted to chuck a quick video out for you right now just to give you some idea about what you should be expecting from this or whether you should care. So first and foremost why does it exist? Well the PS5, for those that aren't aware, has that little bay inside that currently, at least in beta, you can take advantage of to add more storage to your PS5. However, that bay inside doesn't have an internal heatsink. It has a little plate that's there on the top to kind of close it off and maybe to control airflow, although things still haven't been 100% confirmed on that. And inside there, you can install an NVMe. But because these devices that go, go so fast um, get so, so hot, you are required to get a heatsink on board. Now, some brands... Um, include heat sinks with their SSDs. You can get ones that are pre-attached and some of them do fit inside that little bay inside the PS5. However, some do not. And indeed, some of the best heat sinks that you can get are the ones that are a great deal larger. These dissipate a greater deal of heat and although in some cases they can seem a little bit more overkill, some people like to be rather safe than sorry. Unfortunately, that bay on the PS5 is just too small, or at least in height, reaching 12.5 mil. It's too sh um, shallow for big heat sinks like this, and this is a Sabrent heat sink here. And a number of people utilize fatter heat sinks inside the PS5. They put the SSD inside, they install the heat sink inside the PS5, but they don't put the little metal cover on the top. Now, some people argue that's a bad thing to do because the internal cooling on the system, the airflow, and a negative pressure inside is designed in such a way that it's as efficient as possible. And not having that covered, uh, covered can introduce a problem in terms of airflow throughout the device. Whether that's true or not, it's still too early to say, given that the PS5 SSD upgrade slot is still in beta. Now, this is where this heatsink comes in, because it's a heatsink that is designed specifically for that bay. It completely fills that slot there of the PS5 expansion SSD bay and screws in completely. It closes it off in the same way that the plate that was on there originally would have as well. Now, Sabrent that designed this is not released yet. The uh, release date has now been officially made public. It's the 13th of October. Um, yes, we'll get one here. And yes, we'll be temperature testing it against, um, you know, the elegant or the standard heat sinks there that you can pop inside. We'll, of course, also be comparing it against this SSD inside with temperature checks internally and around the cooling area there. But it's this is the first time we've seen it, and again, fair play to Sabrent to getting this to the market first when you would have assumed the likes of WD and Seagate, who over the last few years have been really heavily focused on gamer um, storage hardware from external docks to internal drives to USB backup drives. Sabrent have beaten everyone to the punch with uh, this heatsink that's specifically designed for that PS5 slot. Now, pricing is a little tougher to follow because the heatsink on its own, I'm going to read the name off my notes, the SBPHHS, not a catchy name. Um, that heatsink there is listed for $20 in America, so $19.99. In Canadian dollars, it's $24.98. Why $98? Um, and in the UK, although the price isn't listed, it's looking likely that it's going to be around $15 to £20. Pounds. Other regions will, of course, get it available as well. Now, it's worth highlighting... I can't imagine there's going to be a lot of stock of this. Um, it's clearly been released very, very quickly because most SSD brands were not 100% certain of compatibility with the PS5 system until relatively recently. We're talking the last few months. So I can't imagine stock levels of this heatsink being overwhelmingly available. Hence why pre-ordering is sort of recommended here if this is something you're going to be interested in. And I'm not just saying that as some dude. I'm saying it as someone who is pre-ordering it personally. Now, if you were going to buy a Sabrent SSD anyway, and I know we've been testing a myriad of SSDs recently, if you were already going to buy the Sabrent SSD, then not only can you get this heating, but they're doing it in bundles, unsurprisingly. I mean, again, fair play marketing chaps over there. There are bundles of this SSD heatsink with the 1TB, 2TB, and 4TB 
Rocket 4 Plus, their fastest um, SSD that is PS5 compatible, at least as the expansion and uh, the beta update currently shows. Of course, all of this is immaterial if you're someone watching this who hasn't got beta access or is waiting for the full release of the SSD expansion bay storage. But still, nonetheless, if you're already going to go for an SSD that doesn't have a heatsink already pre-attached, or you were going to go for a Sabren SSD anyway, personally, even without testing it, I think this is probably going to be one of the best options because it's filling out the entire cavity there. And again, if you go for an SSD later, 2210 length, or you were going to go for the most kind of covering SSD heating possible, this looks like the best option. Of course, as soon as I've got one here, I will be doing those tests. I will be doing that review. So you'll know 100% for certain. So don't forget to click like and subscribe. And of course, there are links in the description to where you can get this heatsink worldwide if you like. Or you can read the full article on it where I go into a lot more detail about its architecture and its design uh, based on everything we know so far. So do check out those links. Of course, more PS5 SSD content coming along with NASDAS and some fantastic QNAP stuff coming very, very soon. Or we take a good look at their new software. So do check that out. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to learn more. And I will see you next time.